Next, let's see how to use the Organization Unit report. We'll select it from the left-hand side menu. We start by selecting an Organization Unit. And then we select the group set. Here we can see a couple examples of Organization Unit group sets. Let's see what happens when I select one of these group sets. If I select the ownership type and click on Get Report, we can see that it breaks down these facilities into public and private. Let's select the region and update this report. We can see here now the number of private and public facilities within each district. If we change this to urban and rural and get the report, we can then split the facilities up by their location. This can be quite useful in terms of describing the layout of our organization unit hierarchy to other users. Lastly, let's have a look at reporting rates. We'll go to reporting rate summary. In order to select a reporting rate summary, let's start by selecting a data set. Next, we will select a period type. This dataset is collected monthly, so we cannot select daily or weekly. We can, however, select monthly or any other period above monthly. Let's have a look at a yearly period. We'll select a year, and then we'll select the organization unit that we want to review. I'll then click on Get Report. In this example table, we can see the number of actual reports that were submitted from each health facility that belongs to this particular district. We can also see the expected number of reports within the period that we have selected. In this example, I expect one report every month. Therefore, within the year, I expect 12 reports from each facility. We then have a calculated rate, which is the percent of completion for these facilities. We also have two additional columns, which show the number of reports submitted on time. This is user-defined, and we will get into that a little bit more later on, as well as a calculation for the percentage of reports that have been submitted on time.